Uh, greetings everyone, greetings humanity, and um, this is a um, wind horse flag. I mean, and today I would like to talk about this uh, Himring Tartsuk. Uh, here in Mongolia, it's called Himring Tartsuk, meaning uh, the flag of uh, gas horse. Yeah, gas horse. And uh, this horse brings light, this uh, horse brings power. And uh, you can see that it is written in Tibetan and um, it means that it is a Tibetan idea. So, why Mongols use this flag? Well, uh, it is because Mongols are corrupted by Tibetan Buddhism. I mean, and they are managed to colonize uh, Mongolia by using their religion and uh, since uh, we are, mm, you know, have no right to have own script, it's everything is written in Tibetan. And of course, logical reason why we accept Tibetan Buddhism, it is because Tibetan and Mongolians are nomads, and nomads have a similar belief, um, idea, and faith. So this horse is a symbol for. Uh, faith. So uh, you can see that there is a um, twelve new beasts, and you can see a tiger. Tiger is a symbol for uh, industri uh, industrialized world, or it's a symbol for um, something that is related with money and material things, uh, creating something, and. Uh, Snow line is a symbol for a brilliant leader. You know, um, this line thing uh, doesn't exist in Asia or in Europe. But the kings of Europe like to put um, some line, you know, images on their shields, uh, flags and coat of arms. So uh, this line symbolizes some, um, you know, king or leader. And of course, uh, the guardian of fireplace, Hangarit, and a Chinese dragon. I mean, um, these four creatures are called uh, Durung Huchtung, for uh, the most powerful four spirits or four beasts. But there is a problem because um, this four uh, is not a friendly spirits. I mean, um, these four creatures are believed to be friendly spirits. This is some blue bird, rabbit, and uh, you know, monkey, and an elephant. I mean, this uh, four is called as a friendly four spirits or beasts. But uh, these four spirits are not the friendly ones. And um, the claim that uh, tiger is the most powerful beast, it's um, not uh, logical because you know elephant can be more powerful than a tiger so what does this uh, four spirit represent of course this four spirit represents uh, you know four countries it's like you know china mongolia tibet and some uh, eastern asians where you can find tigers of course, it's also a symbol for everyone. And, uh, you know, these four spirits must be friendly in order to have some prosperity and peace. And uh, speaking of, uh, you know, um, these four spirits, uh, we all know that uh, the Manchu Empire was a blue dragon. And uh, today's China is like a white snow line. Why? It is because um, Chinese call uh, the head of snow lion as Mao. Of course, um, the head of Chinese, uh, you know, uh, communism, or you know, to, uh, someone who built uh, today's China was a uh, Chairman Mao. So this Mao is like a, a white line. I mean, uh, this uh, this power shifts from this for um, you know countries and of course um, mongols are the on you know, this 
firebird with the boobs. I mean, um, people say that um, believing in a bird that has a horns, that has you know nipples, and uh, uh, it's uh, you know not logical. Uh, you people are like uh, cr crazy. But it's a Mongolian, I mean, bird. And Mongols claim, uh, half Mongols claim to be a bird because we are living in a circle. We are, uh, we are like, listen to our elders, and we, mm, you know, choir, our fireplace is made over from three stones. And uh, well, uh, that's pretty much for today, and it will continue.